Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. How are you? I hope you are well. Today is another installment of Weekly Product Pan. This was created by Becky over at Becky Loves Kanga, and I will have Becky's link down below so you can go check her out if you are interested in Weekly Product Pan or a variation of Weekly Product Pan. Shop my stash, use the makeup. It's all a way for us to put our hands on our collection and use different items, whether it be for a week, a couple of weeks, just once during a month, whatever. It lets us pick some items to play with and use them. So last week I drew two items. I do a variation. I have added a second item to my weekly product pan. So the first item that I drew for this month was Catrice's California in a box. I did use this darker bronzer here. I was worried it was going to be too dark, but it was it was fine. I needed to be a little light-handed with it, but it worked beautifully. It blends beautifully. I mixed it with my Cargo HD Illuminating Palette because that bronzer in there is too light. So the two mixed together was actually a perfect um, color for me as far as bronzers go. I did use this blush right here mixed together with my pink blush that I'm panning just to get a peachy pink blush and it was pretty but all the rest of them I didn't use so I was going to but I didn't. I, I It's a theme for this week. The other item I drew was my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette and I drew this cream eyeshadow right here. Nothing too exciting, but I totally forgot I had this um, eyeshadow in my weekly product pan this week. The only time I ever used it was today, and that was to dust it on my brow bone because I had forgotten. So I am going to keep um, this Mauve Obsessions out for one more week just to see if I can get some use on it. If you hear children's voices in the background it's because they're outside playing but it's too hot to have my window shut so I'm going to keep this for a week if I use it great if I don't that's fine but I'm going hopefully I'm going to so let's draw for this upcoming week's weekly product pan I do have it in my handy dandy randomizer and let's Oh, maybe we will hit the randomize button. It's not letting me go down there. Okay, let's see if this works. Seriously? Let's try again. There we go. All right, we have two. <laughs> this eyeshadow might actually be um, completely panned. I, oh, I drew a lot of eyeshadows. I finally got a lip gloss all the way down at number five and if number the first spot which is from my elf mad for matte palette which is what i panned last year if that eyeshadow is completed then i will just pull the second one on this which is from my nubian three palette at juvia's place new oh the nubian palette let me go grab those and I will be right back. Okay, the first item I drew was my Elf Mad for Matte palette and I drew the shade number one, which is this one right here. I did complete this last year, so I rolled down to the next item on the randomizer list, which is Juvia's Place Nubian palette and I drew number eight which is this shade right here. That's pretty, okay. Well, I will be using that gorgeous copper this week. Holy smokes, that's gorgeous. And then the other item I drew is my Smashbox Gloss Angeles. This will not be difficult, it's just a basic brown nude. It does have slight pigmentation to it, meaning it has a lot of pigmentation. 
but that's okay. It will work perfectly. It'll go beautifully with that copper eyeshadow. So I'm glad. I've been going through lots and lots of glosses, so I am glad I pulled this. If it works for the cracks in the corner of my lips, then it will probably stay out just like Finesse did when I used the Essence and Ulta Beauty collab lip gloss. Yeah. So that is it, guys. This is quick and dirty today, and that's okay. Please take good care. Be safe. Be smart. And I will talk to you soon.